In this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to configure and use an FTP client to upload your files onto the web server. We're going to use Cyberduck, which is freely available for Windows and Mac. And when you first load Cyberduck, you'll see it's got lots of default bookmarks, which we need to delete. So I'm going to delete all four of these. And then I'm going to add a new bookmark to point to our web server space. It's SFTP protocol we need, SSH file transfer protocol. The nickname is whatever we want to make it. The server is creative.coventry.ac.uk. Port is 22. And I put my username in it I was given by my lecturer. And now I'm ready to try and connect. I'll double click on the <coughs> bookmark and it will ask me for my password. When I've entered my password, I've presented with an empty folder. And if I choose this little drop down here, you can see I'm in the home and slash my username folder. Now, as you can see, there's no web public HTML folder and we need one of those if we're going to put any files on the internet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it public underscore HTML. It must be lowercase and there must be an underscore in the middle of it. And there is my public underscore HTML folder, which contains nothing. So if I double click on that, I'm now inside the public HTML folder. I'm going to add a new folder called test server or test page. Doesn't appear hit refresh because sometimes it takes a while to synchronize the the, uh, the client and the server. And I'm going to take my HTML document which I've created already, which contains a simple heading one and a paragraph. And I'm going to drag that into my test page folder. And that's now transferred as you can see. So if I go back to my home folder, which is my username, I have a public underscore HTML folder. Inside there is a test page folder. And inside there is an index.html folder file. So let's see if that's going to work. So I fire up my web browser and I type in the address. It's creative.coventry.ac.uk. And if I need tilde symbol, and then my username, and that represents that public HTML folder. So inside there, I'm going to create, I'm going to point to the test page folder, and then I'm going to put my file name in. Now, important thing to note, and this is where people do get confused, if you look at the address in the web browser and look at the file path, the home, the web server automatically looks for a folder called public underscore HTML. So you don't have to put that in the address bar. You have to put any other folders you create afterwards in there, but not the public underscore HTML. And that's how you upload a file to the server. And to do anything else like deleting it, there's these options down here, or you can simply right click on the file.